Hey, how's it going everybody? Derek here, and in this video we will be making a DVD slideshow with the Imagination software. So before we get started, please check my link in the description to this article that I wrote about this and learn how to install the Imagination application for your Linux distribution. I'm running this on a Manjaro. Uh, I had to compile it from the AUR, but it's also on Ubuntu and uh, you know all of the other mainstream Linux distributions. Anyways, to start off and make your slideshow, you're gonna to want to open the app up and click the slideshow button, then click new, and then you'll be brought to the slideshow settings. From here, you can select VOB DVD video, or you can select OGV or FLV or 3GP. Uh, in this video, we're going with VOB though. And then you go ahead and select your resolution. HD is preferable, I would say 1080p. And uh, check this box here and select your transition color. So the transition color is what you're gonna see when the images change. I would say leave it at black, but you can customize it any way you want. Once that looks good, click OK, and then go to the import pictures section. Go to a pictures folder and add whatever you'd like. I've got some wallpaper images. I'm going to add a couple. If you hold down the control button, you can select more than one at a time. You can also just press control A and add everything. Uh, but I'm just gonna add a couple of uh, files here. Now, once the files are added, you can go ahead and select your transition. There is a lot of different options, a lot to choose from. I would say for best results, click the random button. This is gonna give you more variety and you're not gonna have to hunt through the, you know, you wanna have to hunt through the, the settings and honestly, it's gonna look good no matter what. And if you don't like it, you can always just change it. Uh, so we set this here. And then we can go to the audio section. Now audio will let you add in music if you wanna add music to your, to your slide. So most of my music, if not all my music is on Spotify, but I do have the band Tool on my computer because they're not on Spotify and they're one of my favorite bands. So I have to listen to them that way. So I'm going to add some tool to the slideshow. <laughs> and now you can drag your files directly into the app like I'm about to do. And uh, you can also just click the import music feature. Now we can see this is eight minutes. So I'm not sure if it'll play through the entire thing, but you know, this is just a demonstration and we can click the play button and see what it looks like so far. And um, as we can see, we're going through the slideshow and uh, I'm gonna click stop really quick. So if you wanna add any messages, you can do that in the message box. I'm not gonna do that. I don't really have any need to, but uh, you can if you'd like. You can also add uh, text on the screen in the slide text box and we will do that now. So this is sunset. So I'm going to add sunset. I'm going to add, let's see, white. And I'm going to make my font size 48. And this one here is going to be trees. And maybe I want to customize this font to, let's see, what other fonts do I have? heavy data. And then let's make this font size 72 and make it red. So you get the idea. You can add text to any of these. Uh, if, you, if you're maybe making like a slideshow for a family event, you can label it or say what's going on. I'm just showing a demonstration. So I've just got trees and sunsets and more trees and the city and the best wallpaper I've ever had. And uh, this really cool lake that I wish I could go to and this empty road here. And when everything looks good, I can go ahead and click slideshow and then click the export button, browse for how I want to save it. And I'm going to save it in my desktop folder as slideshow.vob, click save, I'm going to set it to widescreen and then click okay. Now it's going to export my slideshow to the VOB file, which I can then use and go download a video disc creation tool like K3B or like Bracero and make my slideshow DVDs. But uh, we're just covering how to make the slideshow in this one. We'll cover how to make uh, you know menus and DVDs and stuff like that another time. 
But uh, if you need to make a slideshow DVD, because I do know that people still do use DVDs for this purpose, it's just a quick way to show off some graphics, please check out the link in the description and you will learn exactly how this all works. Anyways, guys, uh, I got to get going, but I will. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.